This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Depending on your task at hand depends on the view that you need inside of Word. So let's look at the options that you have available, and then you can choose the one that works the best for you. So let's take a look here. I have a document. I'm just going to take a scroll through. I want you to see the beginning of the document generic. There's no formatting. But then as we work our way through, when we get here to the navigation pane, I'm going to highlight this text. I want you to notice that it's within the graphic that I've created here. And I'll leave that highlighted for later. And then as we scroll down, you can see graphics and words and some fonts, uh, uh, font effects applied. And you can see that part of this is formatted and um, part of it isn't formatted. But as we look through, let's leave it here at the bottom. As we look through this particular view, I'm going to click on the View tab to show you where the views are. Right here, I should say left here, it's over here in the left, um, is the Print Layout view. These exact same five views that you see here in the document views are also found in the bottom of the screen. I'm just moving my mouse there below where I'm moving my mouse back and forth. Same five views are found down here at the bottom. Sometimes you'll find it easier to use these view buttons at the bottom instead of going to the view tab to switch views. Let's go to the second most popular view. Print layout is the most popular. Draft is the second most popular. And now what you'll notice as I scroll back up is a dramatic difference. First of all, page breaks are seen with a dotted line across the screen. And you'll notice that all the graphics are gone. So as I scroll back up, I'm not in draft view because I want to see how things are aligned or how graphics are setting up. Look, there's that font that I highlighted earlier that was kind of mixed within the picture. The reason that people use draft view is because they simply want to focus on the words, not alignment, not even necessarily the spacing or the way it looks on the piece of paper, but I want to look at the words that are inside of my document. And then there's also the outline view. Now when I click on outline view, one thing I want you to notice are the tabs across the top. Right now I have file, home, and then insert. As soon as I click on outline, look, I get a brand new outlining tab. And the purpose of the outline tab, first of all, let me click to deselect that text I had highlighted. And the purpose of the outlining uh, view is to allow you to work within your document in a little different way, working with, again, no graphics. There are no graphics involved but working with the indents, so where things are, styles and headings, and it's mostly used by people who use some of the more advanced functions. And even then, it's not extremely popular unless you have a really lengthy document. That's the whole purpose of the outline view is when you're working with really, really long documents. So to leave outline view, we can get out of here one of two ways. We could go back to the view tab like we already have known, or you'll notice here on our outlining tab, we have a button that says close the outline view. So let's go ahead and use that button. And let's go back to the view tab and notice that it takes us back to print layout. All right, two last views. We have full screen reading. This one's intended for just what it says, reading. So here in the middle, you have some arrows that allow you to scroll, and you'll notice that it's not WYSIWYG. What you get, or WYSIWYG, excuse me, what you see is not what you get when you print. What you see is what you get to read. So you scroll through, and the whole idea of this view is simply to help you read and to see things quickly and easily on your screen. You have some tools in the top left corner. You also have some viewing options in the top right corner, so you can determine what you would like your full screen reading view to look like. And then when you're finished, you click on the close button in the top right hand corner and it takes you back again to print layout view. And then the last view we haven't seen yet is the web layout. And for people who are using Word to create web pages, they're going to use the web layout for sure because they want to see what their document is going to look like when it's actually uploaded and visible online. So now you've seen the five different views that are available. I truly believe that you'll use the print layout view the most. And with that thought in mind, I want to show you one last thing about the print layout view. Let me scroll to the bottom of the page. You actually physically see the pieces of paper. And here where I'm moving my mouse, that's where the page break is. Sometimes, though, you don't want to see that space in there, the non-printed stuff. So what you can do is you can just put your mouse until you see that shape I have right there. It says double-click to hide the white space. Whoops, I missed it. Let me try again. 
Okay, so what I accidentally did is clicked a double click in the footer. So if that happens to you, just hit escape. Escape is your eraser. When you get something you don't want, the escape key, it's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It'll take away what you didn't want. Let me try again. So now I'm down here in the white space, or excuse me, in that gray space, double clicking. There we go, I got it that time. So you can see now that as I scroll through the document, I still get to see the pieces of paper and the way they're going to print. I just don't see all that extra paper, all of the margins where I don't have anything. So as you're working with your views, choose the view that you like and then get the tasks done quickly and easily while you're working.